Joining us here prior to Monday Night Football against the Chicago Bears is one of the top defenders in this entire league here from the New England Patriots. He is Matthew Judon. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How you doing, Rich? What's going on? Nothing much, man. Just uh, media and all that stuff. You know how it is after practice. I do know that. I do know that. And here you are, and I appreciate you doing this here uh, prior to Monday Night Football. So um, what is your take on this Chicago Bears offense that so many folks are just kind of looking past right now, Matt? Oh, well, you can't really look past them because they have one of the top running games in the league. They have two backs that's uh, performing very well. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. They're down the distance. Uh, if they get it, they can make, uh, make an explosive run. And then they also have a, a quarterback that's uh, learning, but he's learning fast. He's uh, maturing in front of our eyes. And uh, he's he's making a lot of good uh, football plays with the ball. And what is Belichick telling you? He spent seven minutes of his opening press conference this week talking up the Bears like they were the 85 Bears. So what is he telling you? Uh, he, he telling us about the bears. He's telling us, uh, we can't take this team lightly. Uh, no, no matter what their record says, they're a better football team than their record. And, uh, we have, we have to come out and be prepared. Uh, so, uh, we're, we're preparing as if they are the 85 bears, but this team is a very good football team. Uh, by the way, I, I just so you aware, I spoke to Belichick. He has given you full carte blanche to tell me who the starting quarterback is and tell me your entire game plan. Okay, so, well, uh, okay. well, we're gonna cut. We're gonna come out and uh, behind center. It's gonna be. I have no clue. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the starting uh, offense. Uh, it's gonna be. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, <laughs> all I know is uh, on Monday night, uh, I will be ready and. Okay. Uh, and that I, I'll be playing. So uh, if, they, if that's news to anybody. Uh, okay, that's good. So you're taking care of your own business. Exactly. I like that. Exactly. I like that very much. So, um, you know, one thing I do know about last week uh, in Cleveland is that Belichick did what he frequently does when the team goes to Cleveland, which is stop the bus and get out and see the Jim Brown statue. Is that true? He did that again with you guys? Yeah, well, not only did he uh, talk about Jim Brown and did we stop to see the Jim Brown statue, he talked about the other guys, uh, the other men that carry a lot of social justice along with them throughout those years that a lot of uh, people of color was uh, not looked upon as football players or equals. And so he talked about everybody else that's up in that uh, that stadium and uh, it just gave us a history lesson. You know, uh, Coach is a big history buff yeah. and uh, he probably knows everything or anything about football. And he gave us a history lesson. Like some of those guys were the first men to play collegiate uh, sports uh, as, as African-Americans. And then – uh, everything that Jim Brown did for football and everything that Ozzie Newsom did uh, as a player and as a GM. And uh, I was just, just how he was talking about those guys. And I was just honored that I got to meet Ozzie and I have an actual relationship with him uh, be, because I was with him in Baltimore. Yeah. And so uh, just, just uh, kind of being – at that stadium, I think, means a lot for uh, Coach Belichick. And he just want to pass some information down for us and just allow us to appreciate uh, very, 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 like, tough beginnings to where we are now. Was that the Belichick you thought uh, of before you came to New England? I mean uh, – No. No. no uh, I, I didn't know him personally at all. I knew him from media and I knew him from an outsider perspective. Uh, and I really didn't know too many people that actually played for him, honestly. Uh, and then, you know, I'm, I'm with the Ravens, so yeah, we don't like them. And <laughs> we don't, we don't like the Patriots. Uh, but getting here and actually getting to know uh, Coach Belichick uh, is a whole 360. Uh, I don't, 
and and you know you can believe the hype, you cannot believe the hype, but I think he is every bit of a good man that he is is a good coach, and you can see that he's a great coach from his wins, but uh, every bit of a good man that he is, every win that he has, I think he gives us so much credit to his players, uh, every player that he has, and I think he uh. I think he just loves the game so much that uh, he spends so much time on it. He spends so much time with, like, just guys around football. But then when it's not about football, when it's about, like, social justice or uh, things of that nature, uh, he's willing to talk and he's also willing to listen and he's also willing to be a part of some things that he really doesn't have to do because what, cause what he does is so great. It's fascinating. I mean, plus his look. You you've been around some great ones too. Some really good coaches, I'm sure, throughout your entire journey to this very point, to this very interview here, Matt Judon. And you know, it it he just Belichick just has the ability to just drill down, right? And that you guys are just focused on these four quarters of this week, and then once that's done, it's the next, and then the next, and then the next. And I know all coaches try to achieve that. I'm wondering what you can share about what you have experienced in your couple of years now for that sort of laser lock focus. Your team's three and three with a third string quarterback who's not playing like it. Your defense is playing as good as any defense in the NFL right now. Uh, like what, what can you share as the special sauce on what could be a, a, a big night for your coach to pass George Hallis on the all time wins list against the Bears? Uh, I, th I think the biggest secret is that he keeps it simple. And I think he tells you the keys to winning the game. These are the keys to winning this game. Look, we have to focus on this. We have to drill on this. And we have to live by this when we play this game. And if we don't, we'll lose. And and every week, if we don't, if we don't hit those goals and if we don't do it kind of exactly what he says. You'll go back in the film, and, and it's not him telling you, "Well, I told you so." It's okay. We we gonna watch this film, and then that that's gonna tell us how we lost this game. And then when we go back and watch the film, it's exactly how he tell us how we would have won the game or how we lost the game. And so uh, with him with him doing that, and his weekend is week out. It's not just one time or it's not just hey, it doesn't happen by flu it happens by so many countless hours of him watching film and breaking down opponents and watching every single player and knowing every single player's strengths and weaknesses and what they like to do and so with him just being a football buff like that it it allows us to play fast because he already told us the keys to winning the game and so uh, we just have to go out there and execute those uh, have you spoken to uh, the young man who attempted to give the ball he recovered on special teams to Bill? Um, have, have we addressed this issue? Uh, <laughs> your rookie teammate? Yeah, uh, Schooler. We we uh, we talked to Schooler. We kind of we kind of joke about it, but he was just like he was like I didn't know what to do with the ball, and so uh, but uh, you know, coach coach be locked in, man. He he probably. At the at, in that moment, coach probably didn't even like. He was probably like, "What the heck is this?" He didn't even <laughs> probably know it was the ball he recovered, and so he probably had no clue what he was doing. Was there a moment in the film session this week where this has been uh, front and center that you can oh, share with us? No, 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 no. We didn't. No. We didn't. We talked about it on the bus in the locker room, but <laughs> kept it lighthearted. Like uh, Schooler's a good dude, and he was he was very like he he laughed about it as well. I would do the same thing. Hey, look what I got. You know, look, coach, look what I got. <laughs> man, I, uh, man, coach, coach B be so locked in. Uh, he be so locked into the game and like just kind of the situation going on. He don't, he, he don't really be locked in on like the antics. Like, you know, that's, that's for us players. So last one for you, Matt, you want to, Matt, Matt, you don't. So what does Monday night football mean to you here? Like you can you can get above five hundred, go f win your third in a row, and show the country that your defense is as advertised here against the Bears. Yeah, uh, what what it means is another opportunity to showcase our talents, 
uh, whether uh, that's offense, defense, or special teams. Whatever you're doing, you can showcase your talents. But this time, everybody's watching. You know, everybody in the, in the country is watching. Nobody's like, oh, I don't get that game because I did my local game or this. Everybody's watching, and we know that. And so it's just – it's our time to go out there and prove that what we're working on and what we're building around here right now is a, not a, fa a facade. And so uh, that's what we have to go and do. What would you get RKK for his wedding? What would you get Robert Kraft for his wedding? I can't tell you that. Well, but you did get him something, right? You get him uh, something. Yeah, man. Uh, he's a good guy. Well, I mean, he signs the checks. I figured, you know, what do you get a man for his wedding? I mean, when he sees, you know, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen the check in a while. You know, I'm a, uh, I'm a, a direct deposit baby. You know, <laughs> you know, digital era. We ain't. Well, we then he's seen the check. He, he's the one you give the routing number to. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I guess, yeah. I mean, yeah, you yeah I mean. Okay, got to get a got to get him something nice. You had to well, get, get him something from Tiffany. It's about it's about this big, you know, and it looks like a football on the top. You know, mm -hmm. it's got a football on the top and a base, and you hand it to him mm -hmm. with confetti around. That's what that's what you get him. I th know. I think they pass it to him first. I think uh, I'll be <laughs> receiving it from him. That's right. hey, thanks for the time. Uh, have a great Monday night football game. Appreciate right, it. Thank you so much. Always appreciate chatting. Yes, sir. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.